Let's get you set up on your Jackrabbit Air Sea Land Travel Bag. Your travel bag comes with two parts, which we'll explain the use of in this video. If you're flying with a Jackrabbit, you'll need to put the battery in your carry-on. Use the key and lift the battery out with two hands and then store it in your backpack or other bag. Now let's get your Jackrabbit ready to be bagged up. First you want to pull up the foot pegs, then you want to lower the seat, rotate it 180 degrees so that it fits in the bag better, close the quick release so that it's secure within the bag, remove the handlebars, close the quick release so that it doesn't fall off in the bag, rotate the handlebars 180 degrees. Now we'll get ready to insert the handlebars in its protective bag. The bag is designed with a split on one end where the brake and that grip are separated and goes around the frame. Insert the throttle and brake side of the handlebars into the bag and make sure that the handlebar grip and the brake are separated from each other at the end of the bag. Once in the bag, position the handlebars so that the grip and the brake go around the seat down tube and the bag rests up against the side of the jackrabbit. There are two straps on the bag. First take the longer strap and wrap it around the frame, insert it through the D-clip and cinch it so that it's tight onto the frame. Next, take the shorter strap and insert it and wrap it underneath the fork and then around the handlebar grip. Run the Velcro through the D-clip and then secure the handlebar against the frame and the fork so that it's well padded and secure. Adjust the position and adjust the tightness of the straps so that it's tight against the side and the throttle is well protected underneath the frame. Now that your handlebars are protected, let's get your jackrabbit bagged up. The rear end goes first. Put the kickstand up, be sure to put the kickstand up, and start to work the jackrabbit into the bag. Notice the protective plastic discs inside the bag. These are to protect certain areas of the bag where the wheel nuts touch and the foot pegs touch and the kickstand touches. The bag is designed to be a snug protective fit, but it will fit. Just shake it like a bag, work it slowly, and it will fit. Be patient, it'll fit. Once the rear wheel is all the way in, and the body is all the way in, you'll start to be able to be able to work the zipper. Work it slowly, don't force it, don't snag the zipper, and it will close. Once everything's all in and secure, here's a couple tips for flying. If you're flying with a jackrabbit, you might want to take the shoulder strap off. You only need to take one side off. You can also put your personal identification on the front end of the shoulder strap, and you can stuff it all in the bag, and then zip the bag up with all this, with the shoulder strap and your personal contact info inside the bag so it's well protected. You can put the airline's check baggage tag on the hand carrying handle. And now you're ready to fly. Whenever you reinsert a jackrabbit battery, don't use one hand and have the front too high. That's a no-no. Don't do it the same way on the back end either. Don't use one hand. Instead, use two hands. Using two hands, bring it straight down and gently insert it. Wiggle around a little bit and it'll fit. You can now remove the keys. If you want to see this video again, you can go to jackrabbit.bike and find the video there. Or, even easier, you can scan the QR code on the label on the inside of the bag. It'll take you directly to this video. If you have any questions, you can always email us at info at jackrabbit.bike. We hope you enjoy your new travel bag and have great adventures on your jackrabbit.